Welcome to the Continuous Glucose Monitor Information Session, brought to you by the Certified Diabetes Care and Education Specialists with the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center Division of Endocrinology. A Continuous Glucose Monitor will be referred to as a CGM throughout this video. We will be reviewing the basics of what a CGM is and how it works. We will then cover each of the FDA-approved CGMs that are available. And lastly, we will discuss the next steps in obtaining the device. Please note that there is a link for a short survey at the end of the session for you to communicate your device preferences with the education team. A CGM is a device that tracks glucose levels in real time, 24 hours a day, and updates readings every one to five minutes. CGMs can be used alone or with an insulin pump and can be used for people with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. A blood glucose meter provides a single snapshot of where your glucose level is, while a CGM is like a video that provides a continuous stream of information on glucose levels, trends, and overnight data. Not only does it provide a sensor glucose value, but it will also show you the speed and direction that your glucose is headed. Another helpful tool is the optional alert feature. Most sensors have high and low alerts that can be individualized for the user. You may also choose to have alerts when your glucose is rising or falling rapidly. There are three main parts to the CGM system. The sensor is the piece that is placed directly under the skin and held in place by an adhesive patch. The transmitter wirelessly sends the glucose reading to the receiver. Lastly, the receiver, which may also be your smartphone if you have compatibility with the app, will display your sensor glucose data. The sensor is measuring the interstitial glucose level, which is the glucose that is found in the fluid between the cells. Due to this, the sensor data can be approximately five to 10 minutes behind the actual blood glucose level. There are many advantages of CGM therapy. It provides more than just a static number. It also provides the trend information in real time so you know where you are headed. With this glucose trend information, you are in a better position to make an informed choice on what to do about your current glucose level. By having personalized alerts, it can help you detect low blood sugar that you may not feel coming. It can also help you catch the highs that you may have otherwise missed. Some of the CGMs allow for the user to share glucose information, including alerts, with friends and family members. CGM data gives the user a visual representation of their patterns on a daily basis. This helps to assess the effectiveness of your current insulin doses, as well as the effects of food and exercise on glucose levels. As previously mentioned, CGMs can be combined with certain insulin pumps, but can also be an extremely effective tool to use on its own. Despite the many benefits, all technology can have some drawbacks. There is an upfront cost for the CGM system, as well as the ongoing cost of supplies. It does not entirely replace finger sticks, although it can significantly reduce the frequency of them. Some CGMs do require calibration. Calibration is the process of entering a blood glucose reading from your meter to calculate the sensor glucose values. Finger sticks are recommended anytime your symptoms do not match your sensor glucose reading. Due to this, you will want to make sure you still have your glucose meter and test strips. Some people experience skin sensitivities from the adhesive tape. However, there are many products out there that you can use on your skin to prevent or alleviate this. A sensor is something that is worn on the body. If you are wearing both a pump and a CGM, this is two insertion sites to get used to and two site changes to keep up with. Finally, CGMs provide a lot of data, so it is possible to feel overwhelmed. Sometimes it may feel like there are too many numbers to know what to do with. A training with a diabetes care and education specialist is essential in helping you better understand how to use your system, interpret the data, and make appropriate treatment decisions. 
There are four CGMs that are currently available. They are the Dexcom G6, the Freestyle Libre, the Eversense, and the Medtronic Guardian Connect. The Dexcom G6 sensor is changed once every 10 days, and the transmitter is changed once every three months. A one-touch applicator is used to insert the sensor just beneath the skin. It is approved to be worn on the abdomen for anyone above the age of two. You can share your data with up to 10 different followers. No calibrations are required from the user. The sensor glucose values are updated every five minutes. Optional high, low, and predictive low glucose alerts are available to be customized by the user. You may choose to have the data sent directly to your phone if it is compatible with the mobile app, or you may choose to use the handheld receiver. You can review your own glucose reports and share your information directly with your diabetes care team using Dexcom Clarity. The Freestyle Libre currently has two products, the Libre 14-day system and the Libre 2. For both systems, the sensor is worn on the back of the upper arm and is the size of two stacked quarters. The 14-day system and the Libre 2 can both be used with a reader or with a compatible smartphone. When using the app, you can share data with up to 20 followers. Using LibreView, you can review your own glucose reports and share your information directly with the diabetes care team. This system does not accept calibrations by the user. The sensor glucose value is displayed with a one second scan using either your phone or the reader. One very important difference between the two systems is the alert feature. The Libre 2 does have both high and low glucose alerts that can be set for the user. The Libre 14 day system does not have these optional glucose alerts. The Eversense is a 90-day system that is professionally placed under the skin by a healthcare provider. It is inserted into the upper arm requiring a small incision. Real-time glucose data is received using the mobile app. The sensor provides on-body alerts from the transmitter even when your mobile device is not nearby. The transmitter can be removed from the arm temporarily without wasting the sensor. It does get removed once daily to charge and it is reusable for up to one year. Sensor glucose values are updated every five minutes and two finger sticks are needed each day for calibration. After the sensor is placed, it does take 24 hours to warm up before glucose data is received. Your healthcare provider will remove and replace your sensor for you in the clinic every 90 days. The Medtronic Guardian Connect is the last standalone sensor. Current glucose levels and trends are seen using the app on your mobile device. There are optional alerts, including predictive alerts up to 60 minutes in advance of a high or a low glucose event. The sensor is approved for use on the back of the upper arm or the abdomen. It comes with a one press serter for insertion. The sensor is changed out every seven days. The transmitter is reusable for up to one year, but does require a 10 to 20 minute charge in between sensor changes each week. The system requires a calibration from the user a minimum of once every 12 hours. Data can be shared with up to five people. The Sugar IQ Diabetes Assistant app works with the Guardian Connect and can help the user identify patterns and understand trends. The transmitter that is used for this Medtronic standalone CGM is different than the transmitter that is used for the CGM that connects with the Medtronic pump. A CGM device and supplies require a prescription. CGMs may be approved under a pharmacy plan or a medical plan, depending on the specific insurance coverage. Guidelines may vary based on the type of diabetes and treatment regimen. The next step in the process is to decide which CGM best aligns with your needs. 
There is a red box on the homepage labeled Take the Survey, where you can submit your device preferences to our team. After receiving your CGM choice, the patient navigator will initiate the order and determine insurance coverage. The final step is to contact us when you receive your device to schedule a training with a diabetes care and education specialist. Please refer to the next two slides for our contact information as well as some frequently asked questions. If you are interested in learning more about diabetes technology or the connection between a CGM and an insulin pump, this can be found in the video titled Diabetes Technology Information Session. We thank you for your time and look forward to working with you.